Hi, everyone, and welcome to another 10-minute travel. Today, I have Brad Gibson with me from Insight Vacations, and we're going to look at just what makes Insight so different. Brad, over to you. Thank you so much, Leslie. Wonderful to be with you. Uh, for Insight Vacations coming into this year and beyond, uh, some of our main destinations being Europe, Britain, and what we call ancient civilizations, which are the Eastern Mediterranean countries. You have Greece, Turkey, Israel, Jordan, Egypt. So lots of fascinating places to go. And we can't wait to get back out there and traveling. Yes. That's just a quick pick of me. Actually, the last trip, I, a big trip I had uh, before we things shut down was to Jordan. And I'm standing there in front of the monastery. That is a fantastic country. I highly recommend it. So that's another one to call up uh, South Travel and the Travel Lady and to inquire about. Today, we're going to focus uh, a little bit on one trip that we have that's coming out uh, new and it's part of a series we have called Country Roads and I've been with Insight Vacations over 20 years now and our Country Roads itineraries are some of our most popular and really the premise behind them get off the beaten path explore some of the lesser known places in these fascinating countries and we'll take a look at the itinerary it really is beautiful. Oh yes, Brad, when I saw this itinerary, I was so excited uh, because I grew up really in Cornwall and Devon. So many of these places are dear to my heart. And so often I'll recommend to people to make a trip out to the Southwest, to the Lizard Peninsula. And they, uh, you know, people don't really feel that comfortable about navigating their way around this area on their own. So to have a guided option, particularly going forward in these days of COVID, you need somebody looking after you. Um, some great spots along here, Tintagel, the famous ancestral home of uh, King Arthur, Port Isaac, where uh, Doc Martin was filmed, St. Ives, most incredible beaches ever in Penzance, all the little fishing villages along the way and going through Dartmoor. I'm so excited about this. I, I, it's on my list. Everything's on my list these days. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree more. And this is uh, every time we come up with a new journey, I think, oh, I want to do that one. And this one I really love. And, you know, something that's so beautiful about it is in our world of doing, you know, we have all sorts of different types of trips again, and some of them covering different distances. What's beautiful on this itinerary is we're not really covering a tremendous amount of space, if you will. And you notice the circles with the numbers, that's how many nights we're staying everywhere. So London is our base, our hub that we start and finish the trip. But after that, it's all two night stops. So it has a nice leisurely pace to it and a nice even balance as well. So, you know, just a few, very few of the, the wonderful highlights we'd have on a trip like this. We're gonna go out uh, from London, visit Oxford, the Cotswolds and Bath, of course. And a picture here of Christchurch College Gardens, as well, some of you know, you've got the beautiful row houses in these areas as well. And then also, you know, fascinating history and cities and towns, but then the beautiful uh, natural world. And, and one place that's on my list, very much so for the natural beauty is Wales. And we spend two nights in Brecon Beacon National Park and have the opportunity to go on a, a gentle hike if you're more active. And otherwise, we have the opportunity to have a, you know, get together with a local ranger and talk about the flora, the fauna, everything that's going on in these beautiful areas. Another one that we do is Dartmoor National Park and just visiting the countryside as well. And we build in what we call insight choice. And we're developing this more and more now with uh, really the, the opportunity to personalize your trip. So in this case, uh, one of the days, again, you can choose to go on a hike or we have a cruise across Plymouth Harbor and all the stories, uh, of course, that go along with that as well. So some fascinating experiences. And as you mentioned, you know, some of the very beautiful small fishing villages along the coastline. This is Louis. And uh, you can see uh, one of our travel directors there, your friend in a foreign land that is with you from start to finish on the trip. And they do so much. They bring the destination alive with their knowledge, their sense of humor. We have an awful lot of fun on Insight Vacations. And they look after all the details. And when we talk about, you know, Leslie, when you mentioned about uh, recommending for people to get out into this area, when you do it on your own, 
there's a lot of sorting and figuring out sort of along the way. And we look after all of that. And that just means that you can kick back and relax and truly enjoy the experiences. Another highlight to me, there's some beautiful hotels on this particular trip. This is Bovey Castle in Dartmoor National Park. We spent another two nights there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful property and food and service, but in a stunning location as well. So, and again, with your two nights, you've got a chance to really relax and enjoy. I love the, the you know, the detail in the lobby and different areas as well. So it's, it's a, a special experience to behold as well. This is another one that we do on the trip, which is a visit to Sand House. And the lady that's sort of uh, just to the right talking to the gentleman is Caroline. She's lady of the manor in this uh, house and, and estate has been in their family for centuries. And she is good enough to give our guests exclusively a tour around the estate and their beautiful gardens. And of course, any trip to the UK, uh, let alone just in this area, must come with uh, some tea and, and it's the scone or scone could be either and should we do jam on top or jam on the bottom and the cream and I mean there's a lot to be sorted out and knowing how much fun our guests have on these trips I always love it you know we talk about uh, at the beginning of the trip we have a welcome dinner it's very very nice you meet your travel director and your fellow traveling companions but it can be a little bit reserved you know we're just meeting each other well, it takes a day or two. And by the time we're getting towards the end of the trip, we're fast friends and the celebration dinner at the end is always quite jovial. But you can be assured when we do the uh, jam on top or on the bottom debate, there'll be lots of uh, opinions coming in. And another beautiful area of England, but a stunning hotel. This is the Summer Lodge in Dorset. And this is actually a Red Carnation property. Red Carnation Hotels is one of our sister brands in the Travel Corporation. And they are luxury boutique properties, each one distinct and unique on its own with an incredible uh, level of service. So this is a real treat towards the end of the trip as well. And they've got uh, croquet and different activities. There's always things to do at Red Carnation properties. So uh, outside of what we're doing for sightseeing and experiences on the trip, you can be sure that you'll have uh, lots of enjoyment in your free time in these places as well. So as I mentioned, we are part of the Travel Corporation, family owned, family run, and this past year was our 100th anniversary and we're here for another 100 more. We've got an incredible selection. This is just some of the brands within our group, uh, but Insight Vacations has always been proud to be part of the Travel Corporation and really standing alone offering the premium experience of guided vacations. And so many places that we go, I mentioned in the opening, but everywhere you could dream of visiting in Europe, in particular in the East Med, we go everywhere. So we've got that fully covered with over a hundred journeys. And as we like to say, you're gonna get all the sites and the insights. And that is really reflective again of our expert travel directors, but also locals. We do lots of introductions to locals along our journeys so that our guests really feel like they've met the destination, they've connected with it and have an opportunity to hear from real people that are living there. Think of Caroline at the Sand House and it's up close and personal. You know, we're not sort of driving around and just looking at things and depending, you know, if you're watching this, if you've not been on a guided vacation, sometimes you have the feeling that, well, we're gonna get on board and sort of just drive around and somebody will talk on a microphone. Our coaches are luxurious, we'll show you that, but it's, we're out and about and we're doing things and we're experiencing things all along the way. So we're up close and personal. And then again, we do it in comfort and style, some of these beautiful properties and uh, the way that we travel around. Uh, in these times, even before these times, your well-being is always our top priority, but we've elevated things in these times to make sure that our guests are very well looked after. And one of the things we've brought out, which is an industry exclusive, is the addition of what we're calling the well-being director. So when you travel with Insight Vacations, you will have, of course, your expert travel director, you will have your expert coach driver who drives our chariot chauffeur-driven service wherever we go, looking after our luggage. Only time you touch your luggage is in the room. And now we're gonna bring on a third team member who is there to work with our guests and all the suppliers we use along the trip 
being the well-being director to make sure everybody uh, is looked after. And what is beautiful in these times about that is that if you think if you travel with Insight Vacations, we are creating almost a little travel bubble in these times. And so, you know, we know that even here at home, day to day, sometimes things can change, you know, as far as protocols, rules, things. We have not only the team of three, but we have uh, an incredible team behind the scenes that will be looking out for us as well. And <clears throat> pardon me, on uh, the road, we have stringent on the road protocols. Our coaches are always kept extremely clean. That'll be enhanced as well. And you can see the beautiful coach there, but this is my favorite is Insight Vacations travels with less people. And so we have less seats on our luxury coaches and that means more space for you and more view out the window, everything. And as I like to say, we were social distancing long before it was ever a thing. So you can kick back and relax. And as we go into this year and beyond, we're proud to offer different group sizes now. So uh, you can check that out through South Travel, but we're offering departure dates that are classic group sizes and then small group departure dates, which will be a maximum of 24 guests. We still use the same coaches and just leave the extra seats empty. And as small as with 12 people, you can do it private and take over one of our departures as well. So there's a little something for everyone in there, but whichever size you choose, you'll have a wonderful experience and you will be very well looked after in this a full team of support, Insight being part of the Travel Corporation. We have an incredible operations network behind the scenes in Europe and in different destinations around the world. And that again means that everybody involved is looking out for the well being of our guests and our team members as these journeys uh, begin to happen once again. So you can relax and just enjoy an incredible vacation. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Brad. I, I can really see how this would give people peace of mind traveling to see some of these spectacular places, doing it in luxury and doing it in safety. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you once again, Brad. My pleasure. Thank you.